Okay, in this problem, the first thing I want to do is to draw a picture. So let's look at this. Benjamin places a mirror 40 feet from the base of an oak tree. So I'm going to draw a beautiful little oak tree. Looks awesome. Um, yeah, so that's going to be right there. And then from the base of it, I'm just going to draw the ground really quick. From the base of it, I place a mirror. So I'm going to say that right here, that's my mirror. Okay. And this length right here, that is 40 feet. Okay, next thing, let's see. When he stands at a distance five feet from the mirror, so let me draw him. Okay, let's just pretend he's right here. There's little Benjamin, happy as can be. Okay, um, he's five feet away from the mirror. Um, and let's see here. He can see the top of the tree as a through the reflection. If Benjamin is five feet eight inches tall, so here's how tall he is, five feet eight inches, okay? Um, then when he looks into the mirror, he sees the reflection of the top of the tree. So right here, I have two similar triangles. How are they similar? Um, well, I know that this angle is the same, and I know that this angle is the same, so that is a, a similarity theorem, okay? So I can use that. Um, so now I can compare the two, but first I need to make sure that I have all my measurements um, in um, the same unit. So what I can do is 8 divided by 12 happens to be 0.6 repeating. So really, if I'm going to do it in feet, this also, this height right here is also 5.6 repeating. Um, so I'm going to use that. Now, um, in similar, similar triangles, I know that the proportions, the, the measurements of the sides are proportional, so I can do 5.6, which is the height of Benjamin, over, um, uh, let's see, and that, that would be the 5 feet that he is away from the mirror, so that one side um, is equal to, and then let's see, what cor what side corresponds to the height of Benjamin? Well, that would be the height of the tree, that corresponds. So that, we don't know what it is, so I'm just going to call it x. Um, and then I'm going to place that over the corresponding side to this 5 feet, this base of the triangle right here, the leg. Um, well, that corresponds to this side of the triangle, so that's 40 feet. Um, so I'll plug that in. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do some cross multiplication. So 5.6 repeating, oops, times 40 um, equals 5x, because we're going to cross multiply those. So we get 226.6 repeating equals 5x. Um, we divide by 5 on both sides, um, and then we end up with, oops, um, 45.3 repeating equals x. Okay, biggest thing here, what we need to do first, draw that picture. So valuable, it's really helpful. So that's the first thing you want to end up doing, and then you can use similar triangles um, and set up a proportion and solve it using cross product property.